Welcome back to Classified Defense Files. In today's video, we're blasting off to uncover the wild news about China's Tiangong Space Station and its brand new defensive robot guards. Are these high-tech bots here to protect against space debris, rogue satellites, or something more mysterious? We'll dive into the tech, the vision from Sun Zibin at the National Space Science Center, and what this means for the future of space security. Could this spark a new space race? Stick around to find out. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell for more cosmic updates. Let's get this convo out of this world. Let's dive into the wild world of China's Tiangong Space Station and its new defensive robot guards. So, what are these robotic protectors all about? These defensive robot guards are small robotic thrusters designed to safeguard the Tiangong Space Station, China's permanently crewed orbital outpost. According to Sun Zibin from the National Space Science Center in Beijing, they're built to latch onto unidentified objects, like rogue spacecraft or debris, that get too close to critical space infrastructure. Once attached, these bots use their thrusters to push the intruder to a safer distance, preventing potential collisions or interference with the station's operations. This comes after incidents like the 2021 near misses with SpaceX's Starlink satellites, where Tiangong had to dodge to avoid disaster. The idea is to act as a rapid response defense system, assessing intent and responding, whether by redirecting the object or helping the station adjust its orbit. Pretty high tech, right? Why does China's Tiangong Space Station need defensive robot guards? The Tiangong Space Station, China's pride and joy in orbit, needs these robotic protectors for a few key reasons. First, space is getting crowded, with thousands of satellites, bits of debris, and even old rocket parts zipping around, collisions are a real risk. Back in 2021, Tiangong had to dodge SpaceX Starlink satellites twice to avoid potential disaster, yikes. These defensive robot guards, like the ones proposed by Sun Zibin, can latch onto unidentified objects and push them away, keeping the station safe from impacts that could damage equipment or endanger the crew. Second, it's about protection beyond just accidents. Some worry about intentional interference, think rogue satellites or even tech from other nations getting too close. These robots act as a first line of defense, nudging threats to a safe distance or helping Tiangong adjust its orbit fast. It's all about securing China's long-term space goals, like research, exploration, and maybe even a lunar base down the road. How the defensive robot guards for China's Tiangong space station actually work. These robotic thrusters are like tiny, smart space sentinels. Designed to protect the Tiangong space station, they're built to detect and deal with unidentified objects, think space debris, stray satellites, or anything getting too close for comfort. Here's the breakdown. These bots are equipped with sensors to spot potential threats in orbit. Once they identify something sketchy, they launch from the station and use advanced guidance systems, likely a mix of AI and precise navigation, to zero in on the target. Then, they physically latch onto the object with grippers or magnetic systems, kind of like a space handshake. From there, their thrusters, small but powerful engines, fire up to push the intruder away, redirecting it to a safer orbit or distance to avoid a collision with Tiangong. Some reports, like those tied to Sun Zibin, suggest they can assess intent and act fast, either nudging the object or helping the station adjust its own path. The masterminds behind the defensive robot guards for China's Tiangong space station. The big brain behind this idea is Sun Zibin, a researcher from the National Space Science Center in Beijing, part of the Chinese Academy of Sciences. Sun and the team have been working on these robotic thrusters to protect Tiangong, China's orbiting outpost, from threats like space debris or rogue objects. This concept ties into China's broader push to secure its space infrastructure, especially after close calls like the 2021 Starlink satellite incidents. The National Space Science Center is a key player in China's space program, driving innovation for missions, research, and now defense tech like these bots that can latch on and push intruders away. It's a bold step to keep Tiangong safe and support China's cosmic ambitions. These robotic thrusters are designed to protect Tiangong, 
and they've got a range of potential threats in their sights. Here's the rundown. 1. Space Debris Orbit is a junkyard. Bits of old satellites, rocket parts, and even tiny paint flecks sip around at insane speeds, up to 17,500 miles per hour. A collision could damage Tiangong's solar panels, modules, or even risk the crew. These bots can latch on and push debris to a safer orbit. 2. Rogue Satellites With thousands of satellites up there, some lose control or go off course. Remember the 2021 Starlink close calls? These robots could grab and redirect anything drifting too close to the station. 3. Intentional Interference This one's spicy. Some worry about deliberate acts, think satellites from other nations are mystery objects getting nosy. These guards could nudge away anything suspicious, keeping Tiangong secure. 4. Micrometeoroids Tiny space rocks are a natural hazard, zipping in from the cosmos. If one's on a collision path, these bots might deflect it to prevent hull damage or leaks, total lifesaver. 5. Crowded orbits. Low Earth orbit is busy with new launches daily. These robots could act fast to adjust paths, avoiding accidental bumps from active or dead spacecraft. How the defensive robot guards for China's Tiangong space station fit into the country's bigger space goals? Let's blast off and connect the dots. China's space program is all about ambition, and these robotic thrusters are a key piece of the puzzle. First off, the Tiangong space station is a cornerstone, China's own orbiting lab, fully operational since 2022, hosting astronauts for science, tech tests, and international collabs. Keeping it safe with bots that can latch onto debris or rogue objects, as envisioned by Sun Zibin, ensures long-term success. No collisions, no interruptions, just smooth sailing in orbit. This ties into bigger dreams. China's aiming to be a space superpower, rivaling the US and others. They've got the Chang'e program landing rovers on the moon, Chang'e 6 snagged samples in 2024. They're also eyeing a lunar base by the 2030s, partnering with Russia on the International Lunar Research Station. Protecting Tiangong with these robots builds know-how for securing future outposts, think AI, thruster tech, and autonomy. Then there's Mars. The Tianwen missions are rolling, Tianwen-1 landed a rover in 2021, and more are coming. Safe stations and advanced robotics pave the way for deep space ops. Plus, China's launching tons of satellites for comms, navigation, and Earth observation. Defensive tech keeps their orbital assets secure in a crowded sky. What are the tech behind the self-defense robot guards for China's Tiangong space station? Let's dive into the nuts and bolts of this cosmic gear. These robotic thrusters are cutting-edge protectors, designed to keep Tiangong safe. Here's the rundown on the tech. Sensors. These bots likely pack advanced sensors, think radar, litter, or cameras, to spot threats like space debris, rogue satellites, or micrometeoroids in real time. They'd detect size, speed, and trajectory, figuring out if something's too close for comfort. Guidance systems. To zero in on a target, they'd use smart navigation, probably a combo of AI and precise algorithms. This lets them track and approach fast-moving objects in orbit, adjusting on the fly. Attachment tech. Once they're close, they latch on. This could mean mechanical grippers, like robotic arms, or magnetic systems to grab debris or sketchy satellites, super clever for securing a hold in zero gravity. Thrusters. The star of the show. These small but mighty engines, maybe chemical for quick bursts or electric, like ion thrusters, for efficiency, fire up to push the object away. They'd redirect it to a safer orbit, protecting Tian Gong from a crash. Autonomy or control? Are they fully autonomous? Maybe, AI could let them assess threats and act solo, or they might be remote controlled from the station or ground crews in Beijing for precision. Sun Zibin and the National Space Science Center are keeping some details under wraps, but it's high-tech either way. Power. They'd need juice, solar panels or compact batteries, to keep sensors and thrusters running in orbit's harsh environment. 
Could China's defensive robot guards for the Tiangong Space Station spark a new space race? Let's blast off and explore. These robotic thrusters, cooked up by Sun Zibin and the National Space Science Center in Beijing, are designed to protect Tiangong by latching onto debris or rogue objects and pushing them away. Super cool, right? But here's the twist. This tech could absolutely heat things up in orbit. Back in the Cold War, the US and Soviet Union raced to the moon, driven by tech and bragging rights. Now, China's flexing its muscle, safeguarding its station from collisions, like those 2021 Starlink near misses, or even potential interference. Other space powers, like the US, Russia, and Europe, might take notice. The US has the ISS and plans for lunar gateways, and they're already tracking debris with Space Force. If China's bots up the ante, could we see a rush to build better orbital defenses, AI robots, or even counter-tech? Some worry this could edge into militarization. Space isn't a battlefield yet, but protective gear might blur the line, especially with treaties like the 1967 Outer Space Treaty banning weapons of mass destruction up there. On the flip side, it's not just rivalry. This could push collaboration. Nations teaming up to tackle debris or share safety tech. China's lunar and Mars goals already rival NASA's, so these bots might fuel innovation across the board. A new space race? Maybe, tech, security, and prestige are at stake. How people are reacting to the wild news about China's Tiangong space station getting defensive robot guards. Let's blast off and see what's buzzing. Public reactions to these robotic thrusters, announced by Sun Zibin, are a mixed bag, excitement, curiosity, and some concern are floating around. On one hand, space enthusiasts are hyped. Many see this as a sci-fi dream come true. Smart bots latching onto debris or rogue objects to protect Tian Gong is next-level tech. Fans of China's space program are cheering this as a bold move, especially after close calls like the 2021 Starlink satellite incidents. They're saying it's a genius way to keep the station safe and push China's leadership in orbit. Comments online call it innovative and a game-changer for space security. But not everyone's over the moon. Some folks, especially on platforms like X, are raising eyebrows. There's chatter about a new space race, with posts pointing out parallels to Cold War vibes, science on the surface, but maybe strategic dominance underneath. Critics wonder if these bots blur the line with militarization, noting the 1967 Outer Space Treaty frowns on weapons in space. A few voices are skeptical, asking if this is more about flexing power than just dodging debris. Others are just geeking out, curious about the tech. How do these robots latch on? Are they AI driven? The mystery has people buzzing. What's next for China's Tiangong Space Station and its slick new defensive robot guards? Let's blast off and explore the future. For Tiangong, China's got big plans to keep this heavenly palace thriving in low Earth orbit. Since its completion in 2022 with the Tianhe, Wenshan, and Mengtian modules, the China Manned Space Agency, CMSA, aims to keep it crewed for at least a decade. Think six-month missions with three astronauts, or up to six during handovers. They're eyeing expansion, too. A senior official, Wang Shang from the China Academy of Space Technology, has floated adding a new core module to turn the T-shaped station into a cross or double T-shape. This could dock more modules, boost experiment space, and handle bigger science racks, perfect for research in microgravity, biotech, and astronomy. No firm timelines set, but the long March 5th B rockets ready to launch these add-ons, and posts on X and Web Buzz suggest growing demand for space and power is driving this push. Then there's the Zunshan Space Telescope. Slated for a possible December 2026 launch, this Hubble-class observatory with a 2-meter aperture and a massive field of view will co-orbit with Tiangong. It'll dock for repairs, refueling, or upgrades by crew or robots, hunting dark matter, galaxies, and more over a 10-year mission. That's a huge leap for China's cosmic goals. Now, the defensive robot guards, those robotic thrusters from Sun Zibin and the National Space Science Center in Beijing, are just getting started. Introduced to latch onto and push away threats like debris or suspicious spacecraft, they're a rapid response shield for Tiangong. Next steps? 
Expect upgrades. They might get smarter with better AI to assess threats faster, stronger grippers, or more powerful thrusters to handle bigger objects. X posts and reports hint at broader use, maybe protecting future lunar bases or Mars missions as China's ambitions grow. No concrete dates yet, but testing's underway, and success so far means they could be key for long-term safety. What's your take? Expansion and robot guards, bold future or space race fuel? Drop your thoughts below, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more cosmic updates. Catch you in orbit.